call it the way it is, isn't that it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, right. Are you happy? Rolling, so ready when you are, yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, this one is probably one you might need to think about, but what makes a derby horse? You got, if you had three things that you could pick, what, what would you say they were? Yeah, I suppose they, they have to have speed. Uh, they have to have a good mind. Uh, they have to they have to stay. Uh, they have to have balance. So it's a very difficult race to Derby. Um, it it tests a horse in every way. It's such a tough race. Some horses don't recover from it, um, but that's the way it is. And it's it's the ultimate test for a uh, for a three year old classic generation. Um, I suppose a Guineas horse, a mile straight track, uh, uncomplicated. A Derby, it's very complicated. Their mind is tested. Um, there's a big atmosphere in Epson. It's an enclosed place, so their mind is usually really tested before they get to the start. Um, I suppose what's unusual too, they have to canter the whole mile and a half down to the start. There's people at both sides of the railings usually. Um, it's usually warm. Um, then they have to go to the top of the hill. They have to walk down. It's it's a it's a very very tough race on a horse, but it it has to be because that's what the classic generation is gauged on every year. So. They have to be ready early. Um, it's a very, very tough race. Very good. Um, this is this is probably a very, very hard question, but if there was a horse you you trained that you could have ever ridden in a race, mm. what horse would that have been? I suppose you'd have to say Galileo. He, he was a beautiful mover, a uh, great cruiser. He stayed very well and very genuine. Um, I, I, I never rode him, obviously, but I'd say he, he, he would give you an unbelievable feel. He had... Um, very natural action. He was a great walker, a great trotter, a great galloper. And uh, he, he nearly, I'd say his mechanics were incredible, really. And if was there any horse that you kind of, as a bit of a surprise, might have had a bit of a soft spot for, even though perhaps they weren't a world beater? Yeah, as a derby horse or... or as a derby horse? Yeah, or as any horse. No, I suppose horses like um, Giants Causeway, Rock of Gibraltar, they were very, very tough horses. Um, Giants Causeway ran a lot. Uh, he used to never win by very far. Uh, Rock of Gibraltar was very genuine, very speedy. He didn't want to get there too early either, but he had a great turn of acceleration. Um, but there again, I think it's very hard to beat Galileo again as a three-year-old. Um, and a slightly different question. How much do you monitor and, and kind of like guide your sons, both Donica and, and Joseph? Oh, like I'm, I'm always obviously there for advice. I, I don't monitor them or guide them in any way. Uh, they're their own people. Um, I'm always delighted to be asked. Um, I ask them a lot of questions and, and I'm very grateful that they're always very open and they, they, they tell me everything that they think, even if they're doing new things. I feel a, a great position that I'm able to go and ask them what are they doing new or what could we learn from, what could we add to their system. So uh, I'd be very grateful to them for that. But um, they're, they're very much their own people, really. But you're kind of pooling and sharing ideas if something new comes up. Oh, well, absolutely. I, I, the lads would say to me if I thought, if they thought I should be doing something. Um, and and uh, obviously, if I thought something, I'd say it to them. But everyone, like, we'd always, um, I suppose, bounce things off of each other all the time, really, I suppose. And the competitive edge, that's, that doesn't change. Yeah, no, listen, we, we do our very best to win every race. There's not an inch given anywhere, but I'm always very happy if they beat us. Um, but believe me, there's not an inch given anywhere. But if they do beat us, I'm always very happy about that. And um, what, what do you do in your off time? I, I, What's your guilty pleasure? Yeah, I, I suppose I don't. My off time is my work time as well. So I suppose I, I'm lucky in the way that um, I, my off time is on the whole time, if you know what I mean. So this is what I do. Uh, I don't do anything else. Um, it's full on. I, I love what I do and always have and has been my hobby as well as my work. I suppose you would say there's plenty of other stuff that I would like to do in is see and go places, but I don't get time to do that. But I have to, I'm very contented because my, my work is my pleasure as well. So I'm very lucky about that, really. There's no other kind of sports or reading? Or yeah, no, like no, I watch all the sports. Uh, if we get to see them in the night time, all the sports, the you know, on, on the telly, and, and that's why it's it's so important that, like, that has broadcasted all over the world, because I think it's a great out uh, for that hour or two or whatever, watching sports if we get a chance to do it, you know, so, and I love uh, hearing what's going on, and uh, it's a great thing here amongst the people that we can talk about other sports and other people and other teams and within the, today, in the system today and every day, really. 
And if you, you clearly, the horse racing's been your life, you've just said, said as much. If you were trying to convince a person that had never watched horse racing, how would you sum up the, the best and the most amazing feelings of this sport? Yeah, I, I suppose it's an amazing sport, really, because you can, you'll have all types of emotions. Uh, emotions. You'll have joy, you'll have sadness, you'll have confusion. Um, but, but it all goes down to an opinion. And, and believe me, the person that thinks that they know are only kidding themselves so I would advise people to watch it get involved in it and people could have a very special gift or a very special opinion that others can't see and that's when they really flourish and see because it's all about your own opinion and by watching it you learn and you develop an opinion it's, it's the most amazing thing of all um, I, I think that's what makes it very different because it can happen for anybody uh, horses trainers owners jockeys people race course um, and if you, your begin, opinion becomes very good and very strong, you can have a bet, you can back it up and you can do it quietly to yourself or you, can, you don't even have to do that. You can just watch it and have an opinion and get a good feeling of watching a horse, um, thinking in your own mind this could happen. Or it, but it's all about interest and it's full of it. Um, and you have to get involved to see um, and you'll, you'll get a feeling very quick. And your opinion can be totally different than everybody else's and it can be the best opinion. Great answer. That's all for me. Do you want to? Thank you very Happy. much. Happy, Mike.